Carro. Hello my Gemini friends, this is Guiding Halo and this is going to be a general snapshot for the week of the 22nd to 29th. So it could be about anything, love, money, finance, families, kids, I don't know, whatever comes up will be what it's about. Alright, uh, for all those who have liked, shared and subscribed, thank you for doing so. I appreciate your support so, so much on the channel and um, for all those who have not, please do so. We'd love to have you as part of the tribe. If this message resonates with you, do feel free to leave a comment. I do read them all. All right, let's see what's going on here. Strength. It's going to take great inner strength to deal with something. The grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges. The power of kindness and forgiveness. Time to embrace how wonderful you are. King of Winter. Well, standing strong and firm in your power are you, my Gemini friends. Knowledgeable, experienced, fair-minded, unemotional. Get advice from someone professional and objectives. Public speaking, unemotional relationships. All right, let's see what's going on. What is going to take great strength and forgiveness and kindness? Time to embrace how wonderful you are. What is this about? <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> the wheel of fortune spinning in your favor and you didn't see it coming. Divine timing has arrived, my friends. Could be something to do with a Virgo. Going inward, asking the divine for clarity on which way to head next. Find the mountain, at the top of the mountain. The card wanted to flip. It could be about long-term commitment. It could be about spiritual belief sets that you've had your whole life up to this point. Perhaps it's divine timing to learn how to deal with the changes in spiritual belief set. Someone definitely could be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Communication coming in about a passionate opportunity, or perhaps this is an ingenious idea about how you can use your passions creatively in order to build the financial stability you seek. Yeah, I'd say so. Someone might be getting into some self-employment, perhaps my Gemini friends, if you're not already. Or perhaps you already are and you've decided to change that, still be self-employed, but take your passions and things you love to do and do that instead, perhaps. We have grieving and sadness, not seeing the beauty in a situation. Someone could be dealing with a Taurus as well. Something here is divinely timed. Whatever is going on here that's going to take great strength to deal with is divinely timed. Well, there's going to be an ending to something. Or there already has been. Or you just simply feel stabbed in the back in a situation. It's dead and gone. It's not coming back. And I think possibly you have been single for a while because of this. And you're very guarded about protecting everything you've created in self-employment and the things you've learned. You're very guarded about that. And it could, could create some sort of tendencies for you to uh, be almost addicted to fear in a way. Using fear as an excuse to hold you back. Using that guarded energy as an excuse to hold others back. Addicted to going about things alone. While there's addiction to codependency, perhaps there's addiction to non-codependency as well. I don't know. <laughs> so we have the King of Swords. Clarifying the King of Swords. Wow. So someone is very concerned about the scales of justice here. They are about ready to cut out anybody that does not bring justice their way. Holding on tight to this situation here you are. Get advice from someone professional and objective. Public speaking, unemotional relationship. Someone could be looking for a lawyer in some way, shape, or form. No communication. Could be feeling like you have unresolved 
issues in your life that you need to resolve. Why do I have someone's got a guilty conscience here? Someone might have a guilty conscience regarding you guys. Or vice versa. Swords. We have someone walking away or hopping in a boat and riding away from emotional turmoil. Looking for calmer waters. Heading to calmer waters. Leaving a situation. Because you can't handle it anymore. Taking everything you've learned to this point and saying, I'm out. Let's go. The divine changing your trajectory. Something you thought well, you were going to be in forever. You thought was dead and gone. The divine blowing the trumpet. Calling what was dead and gone to come to life. To bring you back to look at something in a different understanding cups two of cups so someone coming back from the past we have or perhaps this is from this person who's decided to stay single forever they're saying nope it's time for a new relationship guy meets girl guy likes girl girl meets guy girl likes guy seeing each other across a crowded room and noticing someone staring at you <laughs> Yeah, that's what this reminds me of. We have uh, the Queen of Cups here, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Very much wearing your heart on your sleeve. Tender, loyal, compassionate, caring. We definitely could have someone who's very close to Emperor mode on the board here. It's divinely timed that y'all come out of this singlehood. If you've been in single, single them, my Gemini friends. It's going to take strength to do it. And if you're after an earth sign, it's possibly them who's decided they're going to be single for a while. And you meet them and then it's like, how do I convince them out of this singlehoodness? Taking the leap of faith to being compassionate, caring, and nurturing very well may be the ticket. Divine working in the background. There's your soulmate energy coming in. The Queen of Swords, King of Swords. Unemotional relationships. But this person is incredibly emotional. So it's about finding balance between the head and the heart. Someone might be making a, whoop, a head over heart decision. And the head over heart decision may be to simply drop your swords and walk away from the battle but the divine's working in the background to bring fair and fairness and balance your way bringing something back to you maybe perhaps bringing the idea that maybe you'd like to be back in a relationship now after all this time maybe they would too who knows so let's get some clarity please on what ties these two situations together what ties these two situations together the world card, a brilliant success, the freedom to go in any direction, a journey that is now complete. And we have the emperor, didn't I tell ya? Use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized, a firm but compassionate leader. Justice stepping in. So someone definitely could be dealing with something in a court system and there will be balance brought here. Take a leap of faith to speaking your emotions will actually very possibly balance out the whole situation. All right, let's get some angel advice for you guys here. Angel advice for my Gemini friends. Whoa. Angel advice for my Gemini friends, please. That one keeps wanting to flip. So first we have, I'm leading you toward the answer to your prayers. Please, please listen to and follow the steps I'm communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by the angels. If somebody has lost a pet as of late, I apologize. I'm so sorry. They can be much our soulmates just as much as a human can, I believe. I'm the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. So the divine's trying to communicate to you guys about something here. And you've asked for help, so they're trying to reach in and bring you that said help. But you have to 
be in tune with it to hear it. So how do we do that? How do we be in tune? Well, you can do it through meditation or just pay attention to synchronicities. Understand that everything that happens in your day is meant to happen, okay? Let's see what's going on. Let's get a postcard from Spirit, advice for you guys. As you think, so will you experience life. Thoughts are that powerful and they need minding. Let, you, let the unruly chaotic ones settle down so they serve you or get released instead of wreaking havoc. These thoughts arise when connected to the energy of fear and often masquerade as truth. Yet the real truth is that, essentially, all is well. Of course you have thoughts that are positive, strong, organized, accepting, creative, open, and so on. Those are the ones we want you to keep thinking, and they have a less frantic quality. They're stimulating in a good way and don't get away from you. How do you keep an inner eye on your thoughts? Meditate and leave judgment out of the mix. Everyone has those fearful thoughts. Love them, love yourself, and then choose the thoughts you want the world to reflect back. Life is not as hard as you think. Loving you so much. I hope this resonates for someone. Blessings to you.